Hey everybody, uh, do you guys remember the time I went to uh, Fasil Castle in Ethiopia and we saw all this crazy architect building uh, that were built by uh, the local people, actually the noble men, Ethiopians, Africans, they built those places. Well, apparently that didn't just happen in Ethiopia, but also it happened in some other parts of the world. So today, I don't know if you know about this, but I'm bringing you exclusive facts all the way from India. And this mask called Sidi Sayed mask. The mask of Sidi Sayed was built in this 1572 AD by an Abyssinian known as Sidi Sayed. He came from Habesha, Ethiopia, via Yemen to Gujarat, and later saved Sultan Nasir Odin Mahmud III. He was known as a nobleman who helped the poor and had a large collection of books. He built this magnificent monument during the reign of Sultan Muzaffara Shah III, the last ruler of Gujarat. The mosque is renowned worldwide for its delicately carved and artistic stone screen, decorated with uh, intertwined trees, foliage, and a palm motif. The mosque was used as a government office during the British rule in 18 AD. Paper cutouts of the carved screen were taken and two wooden models were made for museum in London and New York. Today, these jalees depicting the trees of life have become a distinguished symbol of, of the city of Ahmedabad. The grave of the city Said is situated within the compound of the mosque. Date and year of death, it was 24th December, 1576 AD. Man, I say this before that Africans we are inventors. You know what I'm saying? You guys you can look at the pyramids in Egypt. You can look at all this architect building, you know, in, in, in Ethiopia and so many other African countries that are yet to be discovered. They were actually built by our own people. And today you have this guy, Sayyid, as Seed Sayyid, who actually built this one of the building amazing very important building that were used as a government office during the british rule like when the british they went to india to colonize that place they were using this building that were built by an african as an office as an office by an african man i don't know what you guys will feel today but there's a significant history about this continent and about our people that are not yet discovered some of them like this we see we read them they're written but there's a lot of them that we have no idea of because they were not even written or they were erased from the history africa when you say that africa is so rich it's not just about the resources but it's about the people mentality and all these crazy amazing people our ancestors who were here before us long time ago who did everything that we see today but all of the credits they went to colonizers because after they came they turned everything to them but that's why i always say that it's important to know africa before colonialism because there's a lot of great things our people did before that that are not yet discovered or we don't even know about that's why we want to bring back the artifacts of africa that's why we want to stand for this continent that's why we want to stand independent because man we can do everything but for the time being it seems that we cannot do anything man look at this building take a look at this building man it was built a long time ago 1572 guys 7 6 15 72. that's long time ago that was built by an african ethiopian ethiopian man if we want to see a bright future we need to look at the past we need to forget the wounds of the past. We need to learn from the mistakes and we need to be motivated by the act of our ancestors that have done in the past. These guys, they did great thing. And also some of them, they did bad things. Today we are where we are. We can't move forward because we don't know the past. And even that, what, that we know, we only know the bad past that we can stop fighting against each other. We can't stop killing one another. We can't stop taking 
our brother's life down simply because of something that happened happened in the past but what about good things that happened in the past we can't see the bright future for africa if we don't look over past the good memory is good like this they encourage us that we should keep moving forward we should keep pushing we should keep you know praying for this continent we, keep, we should keep working if seed sayid build this mask in 1572 and you see how beautiful it is what about today that means we can do more than what they've done in the past we have that ability we have that in our guts don't let anybody tell you otherwise don't let the colonization of the past stop you from moving forward and making something iconic that will stay for thousands of years don't do that don't look down on yourself don't look down on your people don't speak bad for yourself don't speak bad for others speak positive about this continent speak life speak love speak peace speak unity and that's why we fight for one africa man these are people who represented us today we are proud to stand strong because of the work that they've done thousand years ago man thousand years ago 1572 look at which year we are right now it's thousand of years ago they've done these africans what are we doing today so that our kids and future generation will talk about us then for the next thousand years if we're gonna have that these guys have done their past in thousand years ago what are we doing right now to leave a legacy for thousand years to come thousand years of africa are they gonna talk about us killing each other the only thing that they're gonna be talking about is us weeping killing slaying one another or they're gonna talk about the amazing building the amazing unity the amazing development that we are making for this continent what are we doing you can't develop when you're fighting you can't build your country if you're fighting all the time you cannot we're gonna still struggling and suffer and somebody else will come and take advantage of us either chinese or american or whoever out there they're gonna come take advantage of of our fights and we cannot blame them because they're coming to help in the court that's why they say quotation like we're coming to help what are we doing today to save the future of africa learn from sidi sayid learn from our ancestors because the future of africa depends on you the future of africa is literally on our hands right now and it depends on how we do it right now make that decision today to have a bright an amazing future for this beautiful continent and for our kids god bless